Hey, what's going on, guys? Go back again the year. Uh, a fantastic performance of uh, CCRL testing of BBC Chess Engine with Stockfish and NU actually motivated me to work out the search uh, routine a little bit more. And uh, I've been using uh, I've been using the the idea proposed by Pedro Castro. So Pedro, thanks for proposing uh, that idea of keep tracking of the best move in the transposition table which uh, grows the performance significantly uh, I'll show you that in the code just run in a moment but before that uh, I don't really remember if I've been mentioning this before uh, the license of uh, BBC has changed to uh, GNU GPL3 because uh, that's the exact license that Stockfish and NUE is using so uh, just just to give you an idea that the license has changed. Before this, you could do whatever you want with, with the chess engine, but now you can do uh, with this only what this uh, gen uh, general public license allows, actually. But anyway, uh, it's not the, probably it's not the most important thing. So let's get back to the, to the source code. So uh, I have commented out uh, the new updates that affects the performance. So to give you an idea of how different it is actually uh, but before showing you that up uh, I just want to quickly walk through the updates within the source code and just just to give it a, just to give you an idea of what I've uh, I've been doing recently so the very first thing if we just go to our nigamax function I restored the variable of best move and now we're using this best move to actually write the best move to the transposition table so the idea is very simple uh, let's say uh, where the alpha increases, so it happens, it happens uh, no, here. Uh, we're assigning the best move, so so when we have the PV node basically just uh, storing this best move, and then when we're writing the entry to the hash table, we're passing this best move along with the scores here and here as well. Now, if we go to write hash entry function definition, along with all the other stuff that regards to scores and flags, <coughs> sorry guys, we're also writing the best move here. And an interesting thing uh, is happening when we're reading the hash. So uh, here we're passing the pointer to the best move, not the copy of the variable, but the pointer. And if we fail to return the score, we at least can assign uh, the best move uh, variable in the Nigamax search to what we've found in the hash table and use this for the further move sorting, which, in, which improves the move ordering significantly. So we just go back to our Nigamax search and here, just, just right before uh, calling this uh, read hash entry, so we've created the uh, best move variable and if uh, the best move is available, actually, then we do uh, assign the value of the best move to this variable here, and later on we're using this for scoring for for move ordering purposes. So the next thing I, I want to show you is the sort moves functions. Uh, the, the sort moves is there is another update. So here it is. I've just commented out to show you how the how dramatically performance would be growing. Okay, thanks. So, uh, I'm looping over all the moves, and if uh, if I'm finding uh, the move that is equal to this best move, uh, I'm assigning uh, the highest value to it. Not 20,000 like I did this for PV nodes, but uh, even 30,000 to distinguish between them. This this increases the performance a little bit, uh, even a little bit more. Well. Uh, this might be not really that clear, so let me better demonstrate you how this uh, how this affects the search. So if I just make and run BBC uh, and go into hold on a sec. Oh, what has just happened? I'm sorry, guys. Seems like hold on a sec. I just. Uh, Something has has gone horribly wrong here. Okay, let's try again. So I want to make. Okay. And I want to run it. 
Okay, so let's let's do a UCI new game here and go depth eight. See, like uh, already the depth of six is starts to being quite a bit slow, and well, eventually we do hit the depth of eight, but you know, you see, like it's really like million million notes, it's really slow and doesn't make much sense. But uh, if we just now, so I just quit from here, but even now. Uh, you make use of our new move over in using the hash move then actually the performance would grow dramatically already uh, BBC okay you see a new game and again go depth 8 so it moves almost instantly uh, well, obviously, uh, obviously the principal variation has changed. Well, uh, to my personal opinion, it has been improved a little bit. And also we have only 96, uh, 96 thousands of nodes compared to 1 million nodes. So you can see how, how dramatic the performance uh, uh, is growing here. So this, uh, so again, like if, if Pedro didn't kindly point this out, yeah, BBC was doomed to be that slow engine until now. But with this improvement, you see, like, it really goes crushingly well. Okay, so this, this is the first uh, major improvement that was done, but it's not yet it. And, okay, you're welcome. Uh, it's not yet it. And another thing I've added is known as Razorin. Uh, I'm not that smart enough to actually explain how exactly this sort of a technique works. Instead, I would just, uh, I would better point out to uh, the chess programming code snippet that I was, I was, uh, I was using. It's, this is it from the, from this chess engine. So I've used this snippet and embedded it in, in, into my engine and it also grown the performance quite pretty nicely so uh let's have a look uh let's have a look at uci new game and now we can go depth 10 actually so the number of nodes is four hundred and fifty seven thousands okay this is the PV, and now after applying Razor in, so just quit from here, and now I'll uncommand the Razor in code here. So make again. And, okay. Okay, go depth 10. And now it's uh, 100 southern nodes less here. So no, not that significant compared to, so there was, what, this was the number of nodes and now this is the number of nodes. It's not really that significant compared to <laughs> keeping track of the best move uh, from the hash table. It's not that dramatic, but still uh, a bit of improvement. So you see like it now goes for the depth of 10 almost instantly. Well, so at least it's much faster than it was going to depth of eight before this new changes. Well, okay, so this is, this is all I, I wanted to demonstrate in this video. So this updates, just feel free to grab the source code and make or make this updates on your site. Again, like sorry for not uh, explaining the details because yeah, I'm just too dumb to do that. It's uh, it's already beyond my understanding. It's just uh, Kubernetes King can apply something, but he he, he needs to do this ten thousand times to uh, to realize what is he doing actually in particular. So it's not an option for me now to explain why this works. I feel like maybe I understand this, but not that great enough to for to go for explanations. Uh, instead, I would just uh, I would like to uh, demonstrate uh, what I'm what am I currently working on. So uh, I'm currently uh, working on uh, implementing the algorithm of static exchange evaluation. So the idea behind this uh, is to order captures 
apart from MVVLV, which is most valuable, most valuable victim, less valuable attacker order. So instead of this order, uh, we also want to uh, make first make those captures that are winning captures. So let's say there is a capture sequence on a current given square, and after uh, all the captures are done, we may be material up, or we may be material down, or th there might be the measure of uh, we win uh, a knight, or we win uh, a rogue, or, or something. So uh, it just uh, obviously the capture that wins material. Uh, should be searched before the capture that is losing material. While MVVLV doesn't always mean that uh, we would be searching uh, the winning capture first. We would be only searching the, say, uh, capture where, like, I don't know, uh, what, let's say bishop takes, uh, bishop takes knight, okay, and then uh, we still, well, uh, it seems, it, this seems to be good, but, we, uh, but when the capture sequence ends up and we reach the composition, the quiet position, still might end up that we are actually losing a material because uh, MVVLV doesn't doesn't look uh, into what happens when uh, all the sequence of captures is accomplished, while uh, the static exchange evaluation actually does that. So I really hope that uh, the performance of the search would get improved even more after applying this. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not that smart enough to, to make it fast, so I really need time to uh, work this out. But when I do this, I really hope to make another video demonstrating uh, how dramatically the... Uh, maybe not that dramatically, but uh, I'm tempted myself to know how how big would be that improvement, actually, when I add the static exchange evaluation to this chess engine. So we'll see, basically. That's just kind of the next plans that I'm currently working on. And probably... Another plan, uh, well, it, it doesn't uh, relate to BBC directly. It's more like for my, uh, uh, it's more like relates to my GUI. Uh, I just want to try to make some sort of a handcrafted opening book, uh, a very simple one without this fancy polyglot like stuff, but just try to make a text file like in TSCP engine and then uh, in the GUI part trying to reference that file uh, by passing the PGN as the as the input and trying to get the best move as the output. Very, very simple, it's more like a Python exercise rather than chess program, program, programming, but anyway, uh, I'm interested in trying that one day. But first, again, like obviously first, uh, I need to improve the search a little bit. And uh, thanks to Sylvian from uh, Talk Chess just lost that thread already. So there is a, th a thread on talk chess in general discussions in this one, BBC 1.3 released. So uh, actually Sylvian uh, is the tester from Cicero. Uh, by the way, I've added his name to the credits of, of BBC here, if you have a look. So trying to give a credit every single man uh, oh, it's not updated yet. I already did this. I just didn't commit the, the updates yet. It's available in my local. It's already available in my local part. No, no, here. Here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, so, I'm, I'm trying to give credit every single uh, person that helped help me during the development progress, uh, during the de development process. Okay, so, yeah, I guess, I guess this is it, guys. I guess this is it. Okay, so, it's time to say goodbye, so, hope to see you in the next videos on this Chess Programming channel. Until that time, and take care.